Hello everyone, welcome to Jane's Rambles. In this video, I will be sharing with you some photos from a recent adventure in Lewis and telling you a little bit about the history. I hope you enjoy it and please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my content. Lewis is located northeast of Brighton in the English county of East Sussex. The town was considered very strategically important to King Alfred the Great and Alfred fortified Lewis as part of his network of fortifications known as Burgs that he set up in the 9th century to defend the region from Viking raids. Lewis thrived throughout the rest of the Anglo-Saxon period, and King Athelstan assigned two royal moneys to the town, resulting in the town generating a substantial amount of revenue for the crown. Founded in around 1078, the Priory of St Pancras was one of the largest and most influential monasteries in England, and the first Clunic Priory in Britain. In 1538, the grandeur was brought to an end as the Priory was destroyed on the orders of King Henry VIII as part of his dissolution of the monasteries. Following the destruction of the Priory, the site was used as a quarry. In 1068, two years after the Norman Conquest, Lewis Castle was built by the Norman nobleman William D. Warren as a display of Norman power. The castle is one of the Motton Bailey type and is one of only two castles in the UK to have two mounds. On the 14th of May 1264, a number of King Henry III's troops were dispatched from Lewis Castle to engage the forces of the rebel barons led by Simon de Montfort in the Second Barons' War. With the baronial army camped at the top of a nearby Offham Hill, the royalist forces were at a significant disadvantage and were forced to retreat to the castle with a substantial number of casualties. The king and his son, Prince Edward, were captured by the barons. Edward later escaped and set the king free after his victory in the Battle of Evesham in 1264. The cannon in the castle grounds which bears the double-headed eagle of Russia was captured by British forces in the Crimean War. 340 Finnish and Russian prisoners of war from the Crimean War were incarcerated at the naval prison in Lewis. They were often allowed to roam freely around the town and regularly visited the castle. A popular Finnish folk song was inspired by the hospitality that the Finnish prisoners of war received. Thank you very much for watching James Rambles. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe and make sure that you hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of my content. I'll see you on the next one.